Taurus. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to my sacred space of love. We are going to do your general love read for October, but this is a timeless read. So whenever you find a Taurus, it's for you. Uh, it is spooky month and I'm so excited because boom, spooky month. I always, every October, break out my beauty of horror tarot deck, Waja. And I love, you know I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. So, I'm so excited that I get to break out my spooky deck. Let's go. <clears throat> Alright, so, I have two tarot decks. I have my spooky deck. Um, I have my light seers. I have my earth magic cards. And my gypsy tarot. <clears throat> That's all we're going to use because this is going to be a short and sweet reading. Alright. So I'm connecting now to my guides and to Taurus's guides. Um, thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. What does our beautiful earth signs, Tauruses, need to know about their love lives right now at this moment? Please and thank you, <clears throat> Source. All right, let's rock and roll, Taurus. I am so excited to be here with you. Come on in. What's that, bro? I need some more chocolate milk. Oh my God, Taurus. We started out with the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Booyah, Taurus. What wish did you make? Hold on, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, so we started out pretty good. Let's keep going. So something you've been wishing for and really hoping for and trying to manifest is on its way <clears throat> in regards to your love life, okay? <clears throat> yep, it's definitely on the way. There's confirmation. There's three of wands. Three of wands is looking out and waiting for that ship to come in. It's on the way. Wow, that's crazy confirmation. <laughs> you don't need to wait for it anymore because it's in route. Okay. If you've been feeling like your person has been shutting you out and leaving you in the cold, then, you know, there's that. It, it, I don't know why they're doing that. Let's get some more. Let's draw some more cards. <clears throat> The sun. Well, everything's going to work out because we got the sun card. Um, let me see why you got this five of pentacles, though. Why does Taurus feel like they've been left out in the cold with their person? What's going on with their person that is making them shut Taurus out? Oh, they've been really busy and burdened, Taurus. So it doesn't have anything to do with you, okay? Okay. If you've been feeling like they've been kind of cold and sort of ignoring you, this is why. Look, Ten of Wands. They're really, really stressed out and really burdened about things going on in their life. It has nothing to do with you. And look, they're going to come back around. See? Because there's the Sun card, okay? Um, <clears throat> let me pull a card for your energy and see how you're feeling towards this person right now, okay? Well, we'll just pull a card for your energy first and then we'll do a card for them. Okay. So we know that they've been, they might be, have been acting a little cold, but it's because they've been stressed out. It's not because they don't love you. <laughs> All right. Let's pull a card for Taurus. How's Taurus feeling about this person right now? What's the energy surrounding Taurus in this connection? <clears throat> okay. So... You've been pretty busy yourself trying to manifest something big. So you haven't been too worried about, you know, the connection not feeling solid because you've been focused on, you know, trying to make things happen in your world. You you know that the connection is an eternal connection. So you're not stressed out about it. Okay. And right now the energy surrounding you is manifestation. That's a beautiful energy, Taurus. Keep focusing on that. That's amazing. Let's see the energy surrounding your person right now in this connection. <clears throat> Let's see the energy surrounding Taurus's person, please. What's the energy surrounding Taurus's person 
in regards to this connection right now with spirit, okay? Wow, the lovers. See, so they've already made their choice, Taurus. They've already made a choice to come towards you. That's why we had the sun card, okay? They may not have come forward yet just because they're working on a lot of stuff. They're stressed out. They feel overburdened. But they've made their choice and the choice is to come to you, okay? <clears throat> Don't worry about it. All right. Um, I can feel that they are just a little bit overwhelmed. But the energy feels very good. It feels like they're making a choice. <clears throat> they've already chosen you, okay? And we'll get some confirmation. We're going to pull some Light Seer's card just to confirm. All right, what else do you want to tell us about this connection, please? <clears throat> what else do you want to tell us about this connection for Taurus, please? What else do you want to tell us about this connection, please, Spurt? What else do you want to know about this connection? <clears throat> Excuse me. So the reason I use two tarot decks is to see if we have repeating energies or if Spirit wants to tell us anything else. Okay. <clears throat> six of pentacles so you guys are both satisfied with the give and take in this relationship you both feel like you give and you receive an equal amount of love your energy is actually pretty balanced both of yours <clears throat> it's pretty good you guys sort of mirror each other we have the devil wow so taurus this person is really really fascinated by you they have a very strong sexual attraction to you. That's what this shows. A very strong sexual attraction. Hold on one second. Hey, Taurus. Sorry about that. My child is tripping. But look, see? Very, very strong sexual attraction. You know the devil card in a love reading is sexual attraction, sexual obsession, strong passionate attraction to you. So... That's my obsession card. They obsessed with you, Taurus. <laughs> they want it. I'm going to call your reading Spooky Obsession. <laughs> Just kidding. Look, and they're being very patient. So if you feel like things are, um, you know, going a little bit slow... It's because they're taking their time to get to you. They're working out stuff that they have to take care of. Like they're trying to get their finances together. Um, they're probably working on a lot of stuff at home. Maybe with their job. They're just super busy. They're also in the middle of balancing their, um, their light and their dark. And so they're doing a lot of shadow work. Which is probably, you know, a good thing. I feel like you've been doing a lot of shadow work recently, too. You have heavy guardian angels protecting both of you in this connection, Taurus. <clears throat> okay, what else do we got here? One more card, please. All right, Page of Pentacles. So they're also keeping tabs on you. Pages are my, my, um, my watcher cards. So they are keeping tabs on you. Um, you might be starting a new financial project. Um, I'm not exactly sure what financial project that is, but you might be keeping a close tab on your finances as well in regards to this connection. I don't know. Um, they're definitely keeping it close tabs on their finances as well. So I don't know what that has to do with, with this connection, but that's part of the message that came out. I feel like you guys are also going to be learning a lot more about each other as this connection deepens okay all right let's go ahead and get um some earth magic cards in regards to this connection what else do we have for taurus what else do we have for taurus i feel like your reading is going to be really short <laughs> we're already almost done <clears throat> but i guess that's good right all right what else do we have for taurus wow we have tsunami wake up call so there's something about this connection that's going to come out and it's going to feel really shocking. Maybe it's the fact that it's something you're not expecting, Taurus. So like, for example, it could be something like, you know, they feel way stronger towards you than you thought they did. Or maybe they're more 
emotionally connected than you think they are. Like, I feel like this is something emotional. Like, they're going to come forward and say, I've always felt like this, but I could never open up to you because of blank, blank, blank. So I feel like they've been hiding things from you as far as emotions go. Um, they might be more sensitive than you think they are. To me, it feels, I keep hearing sensitivity. So maybe, you know, they don't show their sensitive side, but I feel like they're very easily hurt, if that makes sense. And it's going to have something to do with that, like some something to do with their emotions. And it's going to be a wake up call for you. You're going to be like, wow, I never I never knew this. OK, and it's going to bring you guys closer. So this is the shaman card, ancient healing wisdom. <clears throat> so, Taurus, you're right now in regards to your love journey. You're learning a lot about yourself. You're being guided by your ancestors to go really deep into your emotional space, okay? And I feel like you're really learning um, how to do like deep trance meditation, right? Which is going to help you go even deeper into this connection, okay? What else do we have for Taurus? Wow, we have Island Solitude. So... You might have a little bit of a longer period away from your person and that's okay because you're in a massive healing journey right now, Taurus. <clears throat> and so I feel like right now you just need space away from yourself. Your person definitely is taking their time as well. They definitely have some strong emotions for you. I can feel um, the depth of their emotions. One more card. And then we have fairies, earth magic. So you might have a really, really strong connection to the fays. Um, you might be able to sense the presence of fairies around you. And this is basically the earth telling you that they're blessing you. You're going to have some magic happening recently, Taurus, in regards to this connection. And you're being guided by Mother Earth and also by the fairies. I don't know if you ever sense them, but their energy is definitely real. If you find that there's stuff missing around your home, it could definitely be some fae. <laughs> I'll just say that. We've had issues with fae coming in. We had to leave a bowl full of candy and glitter for them to leave us alone, actually, when I was staying at my mom's for a while. All right, so what do we have? What else connection do we have for Taurus? Um, or what else um, messages in regards to this connection is what I meant to say. Whoops. All right, what do we got for Taurus, please? This has been a long day, y'all. I'm tired. It's a lot of crazy energy. All right, so we have falseness. So someone has been not telling the truth in this connection and that goes back to again I feel like your person has been keeping the depth of their emotions from you I feel like it has something to do with family like I feel like family is like encouraging them to like stay away for some reason or another and maybe for a while they were following their family's advice and now they're just like they just want to be true to themselves we also have thief So I don't know if something has, you feel like something is missing in this connection. Probably because if they have been leaving you in the cold recently, if they've been kind of non-talkative, you know, you might feel like there's something that's missing in this connection. But I feel like they're definitely going to come, come around. Like I said, they've been extremely stressed out with family stuff. We have officer. So for some of you, there's your confirmation. If your person is in the military, or maybe you're in the military, there will be another confirmation. And last card is enemy. Wow. So be careful because there's a lot of people right now that are jealous of this connection between you, Taurus. I said I felt like their family was discouraging them from, you know, having this relationship with you. And there it is. We have fiend enemy. So 
your person is definitely starting to feel like he can be, he or she can be themselves around you. And they're beginning to see that there's a lot of jealousy surrounding the connection and that people are influencing them and they're going to, they're going to let go of all that negativity. Okay. So whatever you feel like could be, wow, we have house in the bottom of the deck. So they could be in the process of buying a house and maybe that's why they're so stressed out. I feel like they're trying to create more stability because they want to, they want this connection to go forward. They're going to start sticking up for this connection. If it has to do with their family, they're going to start, they're going to start telling people to fuck off because they know that this is a really good connection and they don't care what other people think. But just be aware that there is some people, you know, whether it's friends or family that is jealous of this, this connection. So try to protect your love. Keep Keep you and this person grounded in love, okay? Just remember, the most important thing is how you guys feel about each other. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It, they're not the ones in this relationship. You guys are, okay? So try to keep your guys' love protected by making your love stronger, okay? When this person comes back in, stay in the energy of unconditional love. Surround you and your person with a ball of golden light, and keep your heart chakra nice and clean, you know, meditate on the energy of green for the heart chakra, and this will keep you both well protected. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this reading, Taurus. If you want to book a reading with me, you know, all of my information is in the description box right below my videos. You just got to click on it and all of my information shows up. You click on that Goldie appointment li link, Goldie fix appointment link, and it um, will take you straight to schedule an appointment to get a reading. I'm going to be at the Gemstone Hideaway Hut October 7th and 8th. Temporarily, I'm going to be there Saturday and Sunday for um, the one-year anniversary for the Gemstone Hideaway Hut. Okay, now this is going to be in Lansing, Michigan. So this is really important, bunnies. If you want to book a reading, you have to call in advance because I already have a few people booked and if you want to guarantee a spot you're going to have to call ahead of time to the gemstone hideaway hut in lansing michigan and book a slot with me chakra bunny tarot the owner's name is sherry c-h-e-r-i tell her you want to book a spot with me because if you don't there's no guarantee that that i'm going to have a slot open i swear to god i've already spoke to a few people and it's booking up so quickly. And it's right around the corner, you guys. So, and also we are taking walk-ins. Um, if you want to do a walk-in, you can. It doesn't guarantee you're going to get a spot. But if by chance you do walk in and there's going to be other readers there besides me, you have to personally request me. You have to say, I want Chocolate Money Tarot, you know, and let Sherry know or else she'll just give you to one of the other readers. So there's that. Um, but I look really forward to seeing you guys. I'm going to be traveling specifically just to do this for you guys. So if you want your chance to have a reading with me, and the readings are going to be dirt cheap, guys, because Sherry conned me into <laughs> doing this at a fucking really cheap price. Um, no, actually, I'm doing it as a favor to her because I love her. Um, they're going to be, I think she said $30, um, $20 and $30, depending on what you get. So, you know, this is a special only for this weekend, okay? When I, if I decide to travel and go back there, the readings are definitely not going to be that cheap because I will need, you know, I have, I'm traveling and I'm driving and that's a lot of gas money. So, you know what I mean? I'm going to have to cover my ass. So, all right. I love you guys. Bye, Taurus. <laughs>